हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी दैटिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कॉमन इमिटर कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो इन कॉमन इमिटर कॉन्फिग्रेशन द इमिटर टर्मिनल इज कॉमन टू इनपुट एज वेल एज आउटपुट एंड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द फॉर दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन नो ए सी सप्लाई is given so these characteristics are called static characteristics before going to discuss the static characteristic we will see the circuit diagram for this study of the common emitter configuration so in order to discuss the static characteristics of common emitter configuration pnp transistor is uh, taken into consideration so this is a, sorry npn transistor is taken so this collector is of n type base is of p type and emitter is of n type so this is emitter terminal this is collector terminal and this is base terminal of the transistor so here micro ampere is connected to find out how much base current is flowing through the circuit and pili voltmeter is connected in parallel between the base terminal and emitter terminal in order to observe how much voltage is developed between base terminal and emitter terminal so this is the direction of base current ib this is direction of collector current ic and this is direction of emitter current i e and as this base and emitter terminal is considered to be forward biased this base terminal is connected to positive terminal of the battery through load and negative terminal is connected to emitter terminal in order to observe how much current through the collector terminal is flowing milliammeter is used here
and milli volt meter is connected in parallel between collector terminal and emitter terminal and the <coughs> this as there are two terminals uh, sorry two junctions in the transistor that is collector base and base emitter so as transistor is in active mode the collector base junction is in reverse bias and base emitter junction is in forward bias so in order to work this junction in reverse bias this collector terminal is connected to positive terminal of the battery through load so this is the circuit diagram in order to study the common emitter uh, characteristic of common emitter configuration so there are two types of characteristic first one is input characteristic and second one is output characteristic so in case of input characteristic input characteristic one observes change in ib change in ib as a function of vb that is voltage which is developed between base terminal and emitter terminal which is measured here vbe is measured here and vce is measured here so input characteristics are those characteristics in which ib this base current varies as a function of vbe at constant vce so this is a variation of ib and ib is plotted along x axis y axis and vbe is plotted along x axis vbe is plotted along x axis and ib is plotted along y axis which is measured in terms of micro ammeter or it is it gives micro ampere current in micro ampere and vbe is measured in volts so this plot shows variation in ib as a function of vbe at constant vc so this dotted line shows the variation in ib at for the vc value which is equal to 10 volts and this 
solid line shows the variation in IB as a function of VB when VCE is equal to 1 volt. VCE is equal to 1 volt. So, one may draw some conclusions from this plot. First one is the characteristic resembles that <coughs> of a forward bias diode current because uh, since this base emitter terminal is in forward bias, these characteristics are similar to the forward bias diode because uh, this base is of P type and emitter is of N type. So, this is considered as a diode and as this terminal or uh, this junction that is base emitter junction is in forward bias, this characteristic resembles forward bias diode curve. Then second conclusion is that as compared to the common base arrangement, IB increases less rapidly. This IB increases slowly as compared to the common base configuration with, uh, with function of uh, or with change in VB, this IB increases slowly or less rapidly as compared to the common base configuration. Therefore, the input resistance of common emitter circuit is higher than that of common base circuit. So, we will see the input resistance of this common emitter configuration. Input resistance. Input resistance of common emitter configuration is nothing but it is the variation in VB as a function of variation in IB. Variation in VBE as a function of variation in IB at constant VCE. At constant VCE. <coughs> so, the input resistance can be visualized as Ri is equal to delta VB by delta IB at constant VCE. So, this is all about the input characteristics of common emitter configuration. Then next, we will see the output characteristics of common emitter configuration. Output characteristics of common emitter configuration. So, in order to observe the output characteristics, we will see this output characteristics stepwise. as output characteristic is nothing but it is the variation in IC as a function of VCE at constant IB. So, IC is plotted along Y axis, VCE is plotted along X axis, VC in volts and IC in milliampere. So, when this IB that is base current is taken to be 5 microampere, so we will observe this type of graph where 
आई बी इज इक्वल टू फू माइक्रो एम्पियर एंड वी ऑब्जर्व सम इंक्रीज इन आई सी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी सी अप टू दिस पॉइंट एंड आफ्टर दैट पॉइंट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बिकम्स कॉन्स्टेंट और आई सी बिकम्स कॉन्स्टेंट एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वी सी एंड दैट पॉइंट इज नथिंग बट द नी पॉइंट and here the value of vc is 1 volt and value of ic is 1 milliampere again we observe variation in ic as a function of vce at some different value of ib so here value of ib is 10 microampere ib is equal to 10 microampere and we observe the knee point at same vc that is at 1 volt and here the value of ic is 2 milliampere 2 milliampere this value is 2 milli ampere so in this way if we vary the value of ib <coughs> then we observe the set of plots so here on x axis i will plot a uh, vce in terms of volts and on y axis ic which is measured in terms of milli ampere so here ib is equal to 5 microampere ib is equal to 10 microampere here ib is equal to 15 microampere and for this ib is equal to 20 micro ampere so some conclusions are drawn from these output characteristics the first conclusion is that the collector current ic varies with vce for vce is in between 0 to 1 when vce is in between 0 to 1 ic varies as a function of vce e after this 
collector current becomes almost constant and independent of vc that is after 1 volt the collector current is constant as a function of vc there is no any change in ic as a function of vc a up to which collector current ic changes with vc is called knee voltage this ic changes up to some particular value of vc and that particular voltage is called knee voltage the transistor are always operated in the region above the knee voltage the next one is after knee voltage ic is almost constant however a small increase in ic with increase in vce is caused by collector depletion layer getting wider and capturing few majority carriers before the electron hole combination occurs in the base area and which one can observe in this as this value is 1 volt there is slight increase for the knee voltage as ib increases and which is due to the depletion layer getting wider and capturing few more majority carriers before the electron hole combination occurs in the base area so the next point is for any value of vc above the knee voltage the collector current ic approximately equal to beta into ib collector current ic is approximately equal to beta into ib so <coughs> from this output characteristic one may look towards the entity which is known as output resistance output resistance so output resistance which is denoted as r not is nothing but change in vce as a function of change in ie at constant ib change in vce with change in ic at constant ib so this is all about the out uh, characteristics of common emitter configuration and with this i will stop here thank you